let us study telescopic shock absorber in telescopic shock absorber energy absorbed depend on the viscosity of the fluid telescopic shock absorber converts shock and vibration into heat and which is absorbed by the fluid let us discuss the construction and the working of the telescopic shock absorber the telescopic shock absorber consists of chassis i which is connected or fixed to the chassis and axial i which is fixed to the axle of the vehicle telescopic shock absorber has two cylinder in cylinder having the axial i one more cylinder is provided here it forms two chambers one is the reservoir portion and the inner part which is the inner cylinder chamber so basically chassis i is an axial i an axial i is connected to the outer cylinder outer cylinder houses one inner cylinder okay and hence two chambers are formed one is the reservoir and inner cylinder chamber chassis i has protective protecting cover as well as the piston rod okay here there is a gland it is placed so that oil leak is prevented okay since the piston rod moves here in the head so to prevent the oil leakage we have a gland placed over here piston is connected to the piston rod and the piston has valve which have small openings or holes at the bottom there is a foot valve which also have the small holes okay so basically this is the construction part of it and as you can see the reservoir is not completely filled okay it is almost half filled whereas the inner chamber is completely filled with the fluid so with this we end the construction part of the telescopic shock absorber